The way we like to travel, it's really beneficial to have a small second vehicle. When we first started, we just ended up driving the tracker behind the big truck, but now we've got all the parts together to have a full tow behind setup. This tow behind setup will allow us to be together in the cab while driving. It'll also save about 20 miles per gallon as we no longer will have to pay for gas in the second vehicle as we drive around. There are a lot of different kinds of tow bars. There's ones that attach directly to the vehicle. There's ones that attach to the RV. There's ones that are hidden, and there's ones that are fully removable. When I was doing my research, what was most important was having one that was legal while we were driving. I read some stories that federal agents in certain parks were targeting tourists that had their tow bars obstructing their windshield. The cheapest style of tow bar you can buy is a flip up style. Unfortunately, that one is also not really very legal. So that left either on the vehicle fold away or on the rig fold away. But the way our rig is set up, if we have it on it, it obstructs the stairs. So that only left one choice, which is to put a tow bar on our vehicle. And there's a lot of different kinds of tow bars out there. We opted for a Roadmaster. A while back when I was in Bend, I found the Roadmaster on Craigslist for about 200 bucks. I talked him down from 200 bucks down to 150 and they accepted it. So I drove out there and picked up my brand new tow bar. And when I got there, they said it had all the parts and it even fit the exact model of tracker that I had. And while it's true, it did have all the parts, it was unfortunately to a different generation track. So what that meant for me is that the tow bar itself worked, but the base plate that I had gotten, which I had thought was a smoking deal, didn't fit my rig. And that's where we ended for about six months to a year. We had a tow bar, we had a base plate that didn't fit, and we didn't have a car. Well, that's all about to change. Because today, we got the base plate for the track. And when we bought the tow bar, it legitimately did have everything else needed to tow. It's got safety chains. It's even got lights for the tracker itself. So come along with me. As today, we're going to install the tracker base plate and get the towing set up. We got one subframe bolt out. Let's do this. So I also have to remove the sidebar bracket. So the next step says to install a bracket above the frame. However, I keep trying to get my hands in there and they're too big. So I think I'm gonna do something outside of the instructions. I'm gonna remove the headlight above the frame and that way I can get my giant mitts onto the frame and get that thing bolted up. I just can't up. get my hands up in there at all. This is what happens when you're six foot four. got to be a way to get the bumper face off so that I can access the part that I need. It's like there's probably some clips down below that are holding it on. Need to get right here. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So there's been a major setback on the tracker, unfortunately. Yeah, so uh, somebody backed into our tracker and damaged the bumper, which damaged the subframe, and so I can't get the bracket into place. So now I have to remove the bumper itself, and then I'm going to bend the metal back out. Then I should be able to get the bracket to where it needs to be. First knuckle buster of the install. So the installation video that I watched literally showed about 20 to 30, maybe even 50 minutes worth of work. Well, true busting on a budget style, that's really never how it plans out. I wasn't expecting to have to do a ton of work, but here we are literally disassembling the entire front bumper. 
<sighs> so I had to take out the passenger light. And that was definitely in a wreck at some point. All right, we've got all the clips removed. We've got the headlight removed. Should be able to just take it straight off, I think. Let's see. Well, there's your problem. The whole thing is bent and dent dented to hell. <sighs> that sort of sucks. So I have to get that over. Well, we're about to try something that could be considered a little bit dumb by some standards, or by others to be a little bit vice grip garagey, really. So now that we've got the crash bar exposed and we can see that the plate still doesn't fit, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of the redneck beans and we're gonna try backing up the tracker to straighten out the crash bar a little bit. So hold on to your seats because we're about to get bumpy. Let's see what happens, huh? All right, here we go. Oh my god, that was such a bad shin muster. You can see those, but that is my shin buster. So now that we have um, the bumper pulled out some more, we're gonna try to actually get the uh, bolts back into place. We're gonna try to get the mounts connected. Let's make sure the tow bar fits on there before we do too much more work. The bracket now fits around the bolt like it should. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. All right, that's what it's supposed to do. Wheels on the ground Let's get these wheels in motion To every woman in Cincinnati, Philadelphia If it's still standing, burn Cincinnati, Philadelphia Touchdown We've got both of them on. Let's see if we can get the tow bar to fit. That looks freaking great. 
Oh, there is definitely a second where I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit from the frame damage, but it looks like there's quite a bit of like left and right slide adjustment on those mounts. We're gonna go ahead, get all the bolts screwed in. We're gonna get some red Loctite added. We're gonna make sure it's nice and snug, get the bumper put back on, and then lickety split, we will have our towing rig fully done a mere two days later. Ugh. Always takes forever. All right, we got that bolt installed, which connects through there. We've got these all tightened down. We've got these tightened down. We got these tightened down. And that is almost everything. There's a last connection right through this tow hook. And then I'm done. Yeah, this project has been a lot. So I am ready for it to be over. Ready for this thing to be done and installed and on the rig. All right, everything is screwed together. Everything is bolted on. We've got the safety chains attached. It's time to put the bumper and the light back together and we can call this project done. Gosh, that took forever. But we got it done. We got it on there. It looks great. And we are ready to hit the road and tow our tracker behind the big rig. It'll be nice to not have to drive separately.